Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to show you how to correct the Beats audio uh, audio file after a Windows 7 upgrade to Windows 8 or after you have installed the latest IDT update from HP. This is good on all pavilion models and other models that run Beats audio. Uh, I've noticed in a lot of forums that a lot of people are complaining that after the update or upgrade that they've lost their Beats audio. So um, what you're going to want to do first off is go to uh, your local C drive or the local partition that has all of your basic um, data on it with your uh, program files and temp files. And you're going to find the window file right here. You're going to go ahead and click on that. And uh, once you find a Windows file, go ahead and click on that and then look for Windows 32 or System 32, I'm sorry, right here. And go ahead and click on that. And once you scroll by all these files, you're going to get into the application extensions and um, other files. And you're going to scroll until you get to the B's. They should be in alphabetical order. So once you get to the B's, you're going to look for this application right here, Beat 64. Now notice when you click on it, there's a line through it. This is because mine was already on. That means that it's now off. It shut the application off. So if yours is off and you click on it, you're going to get the logo with no line through it. So again, line through it is off. Line not through it is on. And one way to check that is just to go in here and type in beats. And there's the control panel. And there you have it. Beats Audio is back up and running. I had the same issue and this is what I had to do to fix it. So after the Windows 7 upgrade to Windows 8 or 8.1 or after the new HP IDT update uh, for the audio firmware, you can go ahead and uh, see if Beats Audio is still working. And if it's not, this is how you go ahead and fix it. So I hope this has helped some people and thank you for watching.